I just finished season one of the HBO Max original DC superhero TV show, Peacemaker. And I gotta tell you, season one got a lot better as it went on. So let's break it down. Welcome to the newest episode of SDW. Super Dario World! All right, so this is going to be a pre-record, pre-recorded, uh, because today, Friday, well, I'm right now I'm speaking on Thursday, but supposedly it's, th it's Friday. Uh, Friday, Elden Ring comes out, and I want to play it, and I want to play it all weekend, so you may get a breakdown next Monday or whatever. Who knows? Well, I'll, you know, I might not even do anything, because I'm just going to keep playing, because I'm very excited about that. But anyway, right now we're talking about Peacemaker. Again, the TV, the HBO Max original TV show, season one, Peacemaker, based off the character that was introduced in the Suicide Squad, James Gunn Suicide Squad. Now, first off, very important news. It's been confirmed there will be a season two and James Gunn will write and direct most of it. I, from what I read, he might direct all of it, but it's confirmed. It will be coming back. So, like I said, uh, I did a review for the first three episodes of the show earlier a few weeks ago. Um, I didn't particularly love it. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I, I think it was mostly soured on it a bit. However... From after episode three, the show started getting pretty good. It started getting a lot better, and there's multiple reasons for it. But first off, before I even get into it, I need to mention the best thing about this show. And the best thing about this show, by far, is the soundtrack. Like most James Gunn's, most of James Gunn's work, soundtrack is the best part. Uh, and actually, the only reason why I'm talking about it is because a friend of mine gave me the perfect description for it, and I'm gonna steal it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna claim it was mine. But. The way that I would describe this show's soundtrack is Guardians of the Galaxy for metalheads. For, you know, like glam, glam for, uh, for what is it, like glam, uh, no, it's not called glam metal. Ah, there's a, there's a word for it. I'm, I'm not good with words, okay? I, I know I have a podcast. I'm not good with words. Anyway, I, they, they escape me. But yeah, uh, for like uh, hair metal. There you go. So, uh, fantastic. Great selection. Great music all around. Fantastic. The weakest part of the show is that every single character is a dumbass. Now, that doesn't really get any better as the show goes on maybe a little bit maybe a little bit but every single character in this show is a dumbass that is the biggest problem the show has it's really stressful however the other things around revolving the show get better and so at the end it ends up being more enjoyable by far in my humble opinion the best part about this show the best character in this show is vigilante vigilante is the shit He's hysterical. Uh, I remember episode four, the the scene where he's in jail is epic. I mean, just epic. That's where you're like, why isn't this guy the main character of the show? Well, he's fucking hysterical. He's not only hysterical, he's a badass. Um, Peacemaker's kind of a clown and sometimes kind of incompetent. But, but Vigilante is really good at what he does. And what he does is being a psychopath. So I would love to just follow him around. But it's a nice little compliment here. Uh, so... Personally, my favorite character, number two, would be Eagly. Just, you know, because he's an eagle. Anyway, so the the issue with the show, as I mentioned several times, is that everybody is a dumbass. However, in the first three episodes, they, all the other qualities of the other characters don't really shine through. It, like, it takes the, the, the show a minute to kind of get to where it wants to go. Afterwards, or maybe it's because you've grown used to the characters, it, they, or I don't know, maybe they stop doing as many stupid things. I don't know. They, they probably do that. Anyway, so let's talk about John Cena for a second. He's the main character, Peacemaker. Um, He got better as the season went on because let's just say that the character stopped talking so much about Dick and he started, you know, they gave him a little bit more heart. They gave him a pretty good arc. So overall, Peacemaker has a decent arc. It's an interesting story. I still think that the show would have been better with Sean William Scott because in the beginning of the show, John Cena is trying really hard to be Stifler. He's just he's just trying to be Stifler. And I'm like, if I'm going to see Stifler, I'd rather see Stifler. Um, and so he just doesn't really have that kind of like, he's a dick, but he's our dick type of factor. At least, I don't think so. He seems more, he seemed kind of like more annoying. However, as the show goes on and they start giving the character more heart and instead of just like that big brash personality, things start getting a lot better. You you actually, you kind of even feel bad for the guy. You feel for him. And that's the most important thing. The main character, you have to care about him. You have to care what happens to him. You have to care about his arc. And 
in the end, they were very successful there. You ended up actually caring about what happened with, with John Cena's character, what happened to, to Peacemaker. You you feel bad when they betray him. You feel bad when, when things go wrong. You feel happy when, when things go well. So personally, I would have picked somebody else, but he did do a good job overall. Or at least I should say, he gets better, all right? He he gets better. He's not the greatest actor in the world, but he does. You know, what I was you know what I was really impressed with him playing the piano. I did not see that one coming. I, I thought they were just gonna do a double, but no, they actually showed him playing the. I don't I don't know if he played the entire song, but with his big like sausage fingers and like him doing wrestling for so many years, I, I didn't think that his hands could do it. I was actually really impressed. Um, honestly, that that scene didn't do much. I'm pretty sure that the only reason why it's there because the director found out that John Cena can play the piano and they were like, you know what, let's just let's just have him play the piano because it'll look cool. And like I said, I did not expect it because imagine wrestling. Dude took chairs. He had to, you know, he took chairs to the face, but you know, you block them with your hands and stuff. So he fall, falls, you hit people. So I didn't really see that one coming. So I was, not, I was really impressed. Honestly, that's probably the most impressive thing he did all season. <laughs> or It's probably the most impressive bit of acting that he's done in his entire career right then and there. Uh, so I enjoyed that. Like I said, from there, the the rest of the cast, they're fine. They do a good job. It's just the characters are not... They're not well-written all the time. Because, again, they're mostly dumbasses. The only one that's written well the entire time is Vigilante. Because Vigilante is a highly capable dumbass. And it's great. Because you, you, you need to have somebody who's an idiot in there, but who's really capable. Or somebody who's just... if you can't, They can't all be clowns, right? They, it, it just gets too annoying. Especially when you're trying to do a show that's supposed to be serious and gory. Which, by the way, it is. So the action part is actually pretty good. Then the last episode, which was directed by James Gunn, is really cool. There's a shot there where they, they flip somebody over that I've never really seen before they done with the camera. The camera flips over with the guy. It was really good stuff. It's really good. Um, the the villains, the, the plot overall is serious and ridiculous at the same time. It's very similar to what they did with su the, the Suicide Squad. It's like, yeah, we'll find the most ridiculous villain we can find and put him in there. But we'll, we'll set up a, a very serious situation around it, which they did. Again, you cared. It's a, it's concerning. And they, they add a lot of heart to it, which is also, again, very important, very important part. Uh, all the characters here, they they have a role. And uh, that's the, the most important part, that everybody brings a little bit of a little bit. And nobody feels like they were there uh, and they shouldn't have been. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, you got the the badass, you know the the secret agent, the the newbie who's a, got a dark secret, but he's actually pretty capable. Capable, the nerd, uh, the the hardened vet who's the leader, and then you got the two crazies. So you would think that the two crazies would be like, ah, oh, we we can't. It's too much crazy here. But they complement each other well. Complement each other really well. And what does this show mean for the rest? Because they there's actually tie-ins to the rest of the DC cinematic universe in pretty direct ways. So do you need to see it in order to understand all that stuff? Probably not. Does it make it more enjoyable? Definitely, because you don't see it coming. Um, there's there's hints at other things. I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to go too deep into it, because again, I'm not doing spoilers. I wanted to do like a full review of every episode, but first, I didn't know if I'm gonna, I was, if I gonna, I was, I didn't know if I was going to continue watching the show. And second, there's nudity in it, and I'm not, I, I know that I can't do that here. Maybe, maybe in a pre- like, if I'm pre-recording, I probably could do it. But anyway, doesn't really matter. The villains are great. And mainly because there's more more than one villain. And they don't really interact with each other. So it's independent causes of, of drama for them, for chaos. It's all good. There's always the, the threat of Waller in the background. So moving forward, I am probably going to try to do reviews for the show. It will be pre-recorded. Because again, I enjoyed it. It was fun. It's probably... Uh, let's see. Huh. It's better than the Suicide movie overall. The original one, yes. Easy. The second one, the James one, the James Gunn one, I think it might overall because, you know, you get more time to actually explore a little bit. And they do ease up. As the season goes on, they do ease up on the jokes and the stupidity, which is a good thing. And it starts getting a bit more serious. And that's where James Gunn, I think, really shines. When he's not trying to be too funny all the time, when he's trying to be serious and sprinkling uh, sprinkle in a little comedy, that's great. It's over. First and foremost, this has to be an action show. It has to be a drama. Second, second to that, you can you can sprinkle a little bit of comedy there. Great. Um, 
casting John Cena. I'm, I'm, again, I'm not crazy about the character. It should have been Sean William Scott. But overall, it's fine. Everybody else, I don't think I have an. I, don't, I really don't think I have an issue with. The the casting that most surprised me overall, like I said, was Vigilante because I'd never seen the guy before, and the dude's fantastic. He did a great job. The CGI was also pretty good. So they, they put a lot of money in this show. So overall, story-wise, it's fine. It, it has enough jokes that land that's like, all right, fine, whatever. I'll, I'll enjoy it. It gets better as the show goes on. It gets you hooked a little bit more. The action is actually pretty good. Uh, overall, I don't have, I don't think I have like massive complaints because let's say you can be like, oh, it's bullshit that he survived that, but they're supposed to be, let's say special human beings. So they can take more than a normal punch. They can survive a few shots. So overall, that's fine. Uh, I'm interested to see what the hell they're going to do for the next season. I, I'm really excited. Honestly, I'm really excited to see what the next soundtrack is, so, soundtrack is going to be. Cause that's, like I said, that's the best part of the show. And overall, I recommend it. It was enjoyable. It was a good time. I, I don't hate it. I did not hate watching it, which, you know, doesn't always happen. I, obviously, I have a lot of critiques for it, and I can get very nitpicky with stuff. But overall, enjoyable. Enjoyable. Now, I hope that Vigilante gets its own spinoff, but I don't see it happening anytime soon. But at least, you know, season two is coming, and we'll see what's up there. So that's it. Like I said, that's it. I was going to do, like, a quick little thing, because I already did. Like, uh, my first review. Oh, that should not be there. Whoops. Let me get that another way. Uh, as always, any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can find me at Super Dire World on YouTube and on Twitch Live. Who knows what day, because I don't know when I'm going to be doing it next week, but whatever. Uh, if you want to send me something privately, you can do that on Instagram at Super Dire World and at DariusDW. As always, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you again next time.